so check this out. The world's ugliest exhaust fan. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come down here to light switch. Does not turn on. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And there's nothing like smelling poop when you're doing laundry. All right, I'm in my weird little bathroom laundry room set up and the exhaust fan has went out and we're ready to tear this down. It already looks kind of ugly as you can tell. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna tear this apart and we're gonna rebuild it hopefully. Hopefully I can get a new motor for it and then we're gonna paint it all up, make it look pretty. So come along, let's get to fixing. You can tell this is a bit dirty. First thing you wanna do, just drop this light bulb out of here. Not really drop it. Don't break it. Just have it remove. Yeah, you can tell I've never actually took this out of here. I don't know how this comes out. Oh, same style as the others, right? Just grab two ways, pull down. It's got those two little clips right here. You know, these little clips. Squeeze those together. Ah. Squeeze, squeeze these together. Um, okay. So you just take this clip, squeeze it together. Not the most fun, but you can see, right? That's what holds it in. Ooh, we can see this is crazy dirty. And just pop that off. Okay, so something cool about exhaust fans is they usually just have a plug-in right here. So you can take that out. Grab an outlet tester. We've got power to it. So now we know that the motor's bad. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this all cleaned up. We're gonna clean up the lid and we're gonna take that motor out. I don't actually know if I could take this out with this bracket on here, but there is a Phillips head screw way up there and there is one right here. I, I kind of love these old school fans with this plug, man. Like it seriously is just awesome. And we'll try to take that off. If not, we might have to remove these two bolts right here as well to remove this and then pop that fan and motor assembly out of there. And this whole little bracket. Uh, once loosened should actually just spin. Yeah, without even taking those off. You can see that right there that this has already got some wiggle room. That popped out of there. Um, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, look at that, awesome. This whole little thing was just able to pop right out of there without having to remove that. So hopefully we can just get a replacement for this and plug and play. Okay, so there's our hole, that little squirrel cage goes. And if you just come around to this other side, I'm fixing to show you where the information plate is. Definitely super dirty, right? But it's a new tone, model 9417D, heat event. And we should be able to hook that right up. We should be able to find that, no problem. Okay, so I had to run to the store, get a new motor. Here's what we're looking at. 44 bucks for this bad boy. I can tell you the cheapest I found this assembly right here was 70 some dollars on Amazon and then 84 bucks at the store that I just bought the motor at. So we're going to actually go ahead. We're going to clean this up. We're actually going to try to keep this and we're just going to change the bracket. I mean, a little squirrel cage and a bracket for $40 roughly. I'm going to try to do it myself. And the guy at the store was cool enough. They didn't sell these clips, but he had one and he hooked me up with it. So, bonus. So, the key is, 
to not break this bad boy because if I do, then I'm dead in the water and I gotta go pay 20 bucks for one of these things. I'm just hoping that is not the case. The dude told me I should just be able to pop this bad boy right here off with a screwdriver. I don't know how true that is or how easy that's gonna be. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad. Who knows, we might be able to reuse this one too. Oh, he told me it was gonna fly and it did. All right, Logan Gardner, here's what I need you to do. I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna hold this right like this and I need you to hit the hammer right there, all right? So you grab that hammer, hold on, hold on. I didn't say I was ready yet, go ahead. Not hard, just give it some taps. Go ahead. Yep, bigger. Yep. It's coming. It's coming out. Hold on. Look at that. We got it working. It's going down. Keep going. Mm. Keep going. Mm. Your arm's getting sore. Is this good? No, it, no, you have to go harder. A little bit more, dude. It's almost out. I just need a couple more taps, okay? There you go, keep going. Look at that. Good job, dude. I'm fine. Okay, thank you. Logan, fix it to the rescue. Look at that old Betty. Maybe I should have cleaned it off first, but... A lot of junk on there. So we'll just remove this bracket and then we'll be good to go. That is perfect. Six in one, man. Awesome. thing doesn't want to come off there but it'll unscrew so that's what we'll do all right well a lot of cleaning and look at this thing it cleaned up very nice right just get in there it's not a hundred percent but hey man i'll take 95 percent clear right looks good so now it's time to just reassemble Let's set that over there. Let's get this over here. Let's get this bad boy wiped off. Get it all clean. When you go to put something like this back together, you know, the best thing that I could say is always take a picture. If you have a picture of it, which in this case, I've got video of the way that it comes apart. You just go back and look at that, right? Because if I clean this off and I got it all disoriented, I mean, it's only going to go on one of two ways, but I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so we're rocking this right here. This goes this way. And it's gonna sit right down to here. So, get that bad boy on there. And that bad boy right on there. And this and this right on here. Like so. Okay. And then that 
that bar, boy. And that bad boy. And then these little bad boys, you know, just have it grippy. So they, they kind of have like a, a built-in, oh, they're actually not built-in lock washers, but that is a little lock type washer that is stuck on there. Slip this on here, like so. Now, we just take this bad boy right here. You can see there's a flat side to this shaft. And there's also a flat side to this right there. Just line those up. Right like so. Yeah. Get that bad boy down on there. It's right to where it needs to be. All right, so hopefully, okay, so, so if we check these out, this is the old, so if we check this out, this is that old compression ring that came off of here, and here is actually the new one that the guy just gave me. Well, this one right here is a little bit thicker, and they're actually like the same diameter. Right, if I'm feeling that, you look at the gap, there's a little gap on both of them. Uh, so I'm assuming they're roughly the same size. And I'm just gonna put the old one back on because it really, it had some pop to it when it came off. And I think how we're gonna try to do this is we're gonna spread it out using some needle nose pliers. Barely get it in the end of that. Spread it out a little bit. Ooh, close. Oh yeah, we got it. Perfect. And then I'm able to just actually take my thumbs and ow, take something, get that pushed on. Let's see if we get something flat at this point. I'm gonna just try to get that the whole way down on there. Awesome, 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 man. And so there we go, we're back on. That's really snug. Seems to roll pretty good and let's go put her in place. Got this bad boy cleaned out. We've got this all cleaned up and put back together. And now we're just gonna go ahead and reinstall, right? And it's gonna be as simple as, <laughs> Maybe not so simple. I don't know, it was a little tough to get out of there. But these little notches, right, that's where the screws go. And you're just able to take those, hopefully get them that way, and then just turn it and click it in place. Maybe it's a little bit easier said than done here. The easiest way to do this is gonna be take this parallel up to here with that little wheel. Get your wheel tucked in there. Once your wheel's in place, you can move this whole thing freely. Then you're able to take this, get it in there. Get that one put there, that one put there. Screw on the top. Yeah. Screw on the bottom. Okay, so now that we've got this put up in place, I actually have a free hand. I can hold the camera with this hand. 
and we can just plug this in right up in here. And now we can turn this on and give it a test. Sucking. That's great. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so here's my question. I went ahead and I cleaned all this up and you can see that side is so ugly yellow. Is that just normal or is that gonna be smoke? I don't know. And then maybe, just maybe, could I actually sand this down? It's plastic and I know plastic, you know, if I've used some super fine grit and some water, I could sand this down. I wonder if I could sand it back to white. I don't know, but I know that that's a drastic difference, right? But I'm actually gonna do this one-handed. Let's see if we can do this. So the, the clips have gotta go up in here and we'll just start with the first one, right? And you just got these two little clips right here and just get those two up there. Grab our other two. Get those two right there. And then just pop that bad boy back in place. Now, I said I was gonna paint this and I think I will paint it tomorrow. I just, uh, we were still looking for the color and didn't really know what we want just quite yet. So then we'll reinstall the light. Give that a test. Oh yeah. All right, folks, so there you have it. Honestly, a lot of cleaning to this job, right? That was pretty funky. That probably was the biggest and longest thing. That and actually getting the part, right? But I picked it up on the way home from work, worked out pretty easy. Luckily, somebody had it locally and I could just get the motor for about half the price, right? So not having to change out the squirrel cage and that little clip saved me like 50 bucks, man which was awesome. I, I actually was really happy about that. So I really hope you guys are enjoying the channel. If you could please subscribe, click the like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again real soon.